What's going on, my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Gareth Game by the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because we're going to be jumping into a co op here, Floor 12, and trying to take it out with Demon Hunter. I haven't played Demon Hunter in a long time in co op. It used to be the best card in the, in the game to do so. And I really don't know where it stands in order of taking out and completing dungeons. So we're going to be taking it on today. And let me tell you. It may have been the easiest clear of my life. I want you guys to see how we're taking it on with a random guys. Grab your coffee, grab your device, and let's head on down to Game by the Beach. Welcome back once again, fellas. We're going to be jumping right into a co-op game here where we're actually doing... A rando co-op, but luckily our uh, our partner here is somebody that's running support. So I absolutely love that. Let's see how we can do. So today's goal, we are looking to complete wave 40, floor 12, uh, with Demon Hunter. We showed off Demon Hunter in yesterday's video, and it worked pretty well on the ladder. Now we're going to be showing it off on the uh, in co-op and seeing if it works just as well here and we can clear relatively easily. So I'm just going to do a little bit of that. We should be able to do this. I don't know why he was spamming at me. I can go. I'll just do that for now. Hit our gadget. And I really, really like the fact that my man here is playing a um, a shaman deck. Thank goodness. Probably never heard those words come out of my mouth. I don't know if we're going to be able to take out Tribunal or realistically almost any boss uh, as well as I'd like to. Oh boy. Those, uh, those scrappers, not ideal. Hopefully we can combine those out at some point. Um, but yeah, he's got Witch. He's got Clock. He's got Shaman. I mean, he's got everything you could possibly want in order to uh, to make this deck work. And now it's only only time that will tell whether or not it can get the job done. So I'm just going to do that. He's going to spam a couple times. Woohoo! Taking out Tribunal before it hits is huge. And now my main mission is to combine out uh, Scrappers. We also don't really need high-ranking anything other than demon hunters to be perfectly honest we're already at 23 tiers so i'm gonna try and utilize my uh, my scrappers to get rid of this guy eventually <clears throat> maybe even combine these guys out eventually also and then kind of go from there but guys if you are enjoying this video make sure that you are subscribed to the channel like the video and if you're gonna make any in-game purchases make sure you're going through my games and using code beach as it says on the sign the beach sign over there okay it helps content creators out and you can support your favorite one totally for free bedlam next could be a little bit interesting so he's just building mana at this point not the worst uh, idea i've ever heard i'm just gonna do that we're gonna go i don't know i'm just gonna combine these out i'm gonna try and do a little bit of work here just to figure out what else we can do but we're only at 23 i'm gonna combine these out because what's the worst that can happen i'm gonna combine these out too and uh that was very nice that rank four is obviously not ideal um but we did make it over 25 rank five is obviously not ideal rank six is obviously not ideal bruh leave that man's alone we don't need such a high ranking <laughs> uh sword that's not even ascended so that guy right here this essentially is a dead spot uh on our deck it's on our board there's nothing that we're going to be able to do about that unless it gets like hit by a warlock or hit by a uh lion 18 times that spot is completely dead for the rest of this game which is really really sad the fact that we've got an ascended sword right there is great i don't know where we're at in terms of stacks I'm going to be way more focused on trying to get our levels up rather than trying to get to 10 stack swords because I know like at, after 25, 
well, you obviously you want to get to 40, but getting to 25 is super, super important. Here we go up against Bedlam. We did make it happen. Let's hit our gadget right there. Keep on pushing the issue with that. And uh, let's see what he does. He's got some shamans he could spam. He's got some clocks he could do. A lot of our units are hit by witches already, which is good. Shaman, he hit that guy again, which does not help us at all. Inspiration. So we're going to be able to get to um, a max... Well, that was weird. It's getting ranked up, and then it's getting ranked down. A max... Um, ooh. Aww. Um, gadget. So we're going to get to our gadget very, very quickly because of the inspiration, which I do like a lot. This guy's still chilling. I would like to combine these out, but at the moment, not the end of the world. And realistically, we only need five shamans with some good luck. We only need five shamans to get us to 40 tiers, and then we should be in a pretty good spot. Okay, now, now six shamans because his shaman's coming down. So the only thing I don't like about his deck is that he's got low-level stuff. And a low level cauldron. That that level 13 talent cauldron makes me a little bit nervous. Um, but the fact that he's got clock and shaman and witch is all good to me. Let me know if you guys have ever tried this out. Demon Hunter, remember, Demon Hunter used to be one of the go-tos in terms of clearing waves. It used to be like the best card to clear waves with. Uh, to clear floor, whatever, any any floor. I haven't really used her at all since she got nerfed a million times, right? She just completely fell out of the mana, the the meta, the mana, the meta. So I'm I'm interested. I'm interested to see how this is gonna go. Again, I could definitely do this. I really want to, but I'm just waiting because I want like this guy's ascended twice. That's like it's really not that great. I'm gonna keep hitting my gadget because I forgot about it until right now. Um, I really wish he would continue to spam, but maybe he doesn't have that much mana. I also have Mage Robes equipped, so I should be giving him, like, a good amount of mana also. But, but hey, we're just hanging out. We're waiting for him. There's not a whole lot else I could do. I could, like, combine out rank twos if I really needed to, but we got the dead spot over here. We've got a rank six, rank four, rank five. I mean, we're in a good spot. Gonna hit my, my, uh... So right there, so this is how I look at it. We're doing floor 12, right? So right there, we would have gotten hit by something. We would have gotten hit by Bedlam, uh, Warlock, certainly Tribunal. Monkey King would have hit us right there uh, because Gorgon did fire. So we just want to be aware of that because we're not in the best spot we possibly could. We're at 37 tiers. We're waiting on him to shaman me here. And, uh, yeah, if he wasn't running a support, I would probably just try to do it on my own. But because he is running a Shaman deck, to me, why would I not just wait for him to, to do some more things? He can combine out his clocks. We don't need clocks at the moment. He could probably just combine them all out willy-nilly. And then from there, we can figure it out. But, uh, I mean, this guy's a rando. I wanted to play with, with some clan mates. People weren't online. So we went rando and we're going to see how it works. I, I honestly don't have a ton of faith in this. I'm going to be honest. I really don't have a ton of faith in Demon Hunter. She's only a level 9 for me. So if it works for me, it probably would work for you. Uh, granted that the support works out pretty well. Here comes a Shaman. Come on, hit something that we need. Alright, so we made it to 40 tiers, which is really great. Our, uh, our sword is still working overtime here. Let's see how fast we take out Virus. I'm not going to really do anything. So Virus is going to spread... spread uh, pretty hectically and it will probably be a little scary but hopefully oh our man disconnected our man disconnected hopefully it's not going to be the end of the world but okay we got twenty thousand mana i'm gonna have to go back down under uh not to australia back under 40 tiers of demon hunters and then work my way back up because I got nothing else I can do. He he left, which... Uh, oh, he's back. He's back. He's back. Come on, stay here. Keep spamming me. Come on, dude. L help a brother out here. Where? Don't you leave me in the... Don't, leave, don't you leave me high and dry out here. That's not what we need. Um, but yeah, with Virus, it could be a little bit interesting. Sometimes this guy got to a 10 stack, so hey, at least a few of them are. Um, virus could be brutal right here, and it could barely even... Uh, 
affect us. So we're going to have to see which one is going to come to fruition here. Let's go. Yep, let's hit that guy. I'm going to combine these out. I really want to, but I'm not going to. Yeah, keep working. So now we're at 44 tiers. That was a little double upgrade. Took out Virus nice and easy. Um, it did hit a sword that I can't get rid of. I don't really care about. Let's see what Virus does. So it's spreading that way. Another Shaman incoming. 46 tiers. 40, yeah, yeah, 46. Pretty good. We're getting, once again, we're getting to... I'm going to just do... A rank two right there. I'm going to combine these out. A little bit of a weird play, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go over here. I want to do more. Uh, so we're just going to keep on going here. And it's probably the absolute wrong time to do this. Simply because we don't want to get stuck. But I want to be able to maneuver my board a little bit. And it's also a poor time because... <laughs> It means virus is just gonna keep on spreading. Oh, that was a that was an ascended guy. We're still at 40 tiers, so that's all that matters. I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna do that. Let's try and hold off for now. I'm gonna spam just a couple of these last guys, and we're gonna hold off for now. Just to get virus to go the heck away. They're only on like the binary. Okay, now they're gone. Now they're gone. I'm just gonna come down here. Let's see if we can get a couple more sword combine outs. That would be nice. Uh, we got a rank three. Now we got a rank four. Definitely gonna level that guy up. We're at 50 tiers at this point. So I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna go right there. Spam out a couple of those. Uh, I guess we'll just do... I guess I'll just do this. Eat that. Assassin incoming soon. Combine those out. Hmm, let's see, Any? I guess I'll just eat this, I don't know, uh, oh, we could just do that, that's obvious, oh, I could have copied that drive, whatever, uh, I'll just do this, we'll go here, we'll go here, we'll combine these out, uh, let's just combine these out, boom, another sword, not ideal, got some, so we're already at 56, we're at 56, so I feel like we're in a pretty good spot, I'm gonna combine these out, that's 50, oh, it's still 56, uh, I don't know. I'll go here and here. Another sword. Another dryad. Uh, we can eat that. It'd be absolutely incredible if we can get rid of some of these swords. But it's not going to happen. And scrapping these swords don't really help. Let's see how we do against Assassin. I'm going to hit my gadget. Ooh, we took that out pretty, pretty convincingly. I'm going to be honest. Four and one more scrapper. And then I'm going to go back to saving some mana because... I feel like we're in a good enough spot. Unfortunately, we don't have any Ascended Swords just sitting there. Hopefully these... I wish those guys were Ascended Swords um, to just continue leveling things up. But we've got we've got two at, at, uh, at a 10 stack. We've got two at a 10 stack, which isn't too, too shabby. We're Oh, and we finally got an Ascended Sword right there. And hey, maybe that guy gets hit like 100 times and we can combine it out with this guy. That would be awesome. But we do have an Ascended Sword. We've got two at 10 stack Demon Hunters. Wave four, or four waves until King Pudding arrives. I don't know. I feel like this is going as good as I could have hoped. We've got one, two, three, four max Demon Hunters. One rank six. One, two, three, four rank fives. A rank four and two rank threes. So our lowest Demon Hunter is a rank three, which... I mean, that's solid. That's really, really solid. I'm not mad about that whatsoever. I'm just interested to see how this is going to look. And King Pudding is actually pretty brutal for us. We do have three spots on our board in three different... Three swords on our board to where we would like King Pudding to hit. So not our whole board is, is, uh, is Demon Hunters, but I wish Demon Hunter had... I mean, wait until talents come out, I guess. But I wish it had some sort of a cleanse. If it's going to be a damage unit, you kind of need something to cleanse it with. Uh, unless, do, do any um, support units cleanse? I Obviously, Portal Keeper, kind of. Does Dryad have an effect that cleanses? I don't know. I only had a level 9 Dryad as a highest talent ever. So I don't know how that works. But uh, it probably does have some sort of a cleanse effect. 
But yeah, getting hit by, De by uh, King Pudding with Demon Hunter here is actually really, really bad. So we're going to have to take it in stride. We'll have to see what gets hit and decide whether or not it makes any sense whatsoever to combine out. I mean, these rank 3s, like I could combine out these rank 3s. Maybe combine out this rank 4 with something eventually, but... It's uh, it's definitely gonna be a tall order to try and get rid of King Pudding's pudding, so yeah. So again, only time will tell. Sims, I appreciate you helping me out, man. You got some interesting uh, equipment there. You've got the clock of power, dude. You're doing work. Just King Pudding is brutal. And then we got ten more waves, so we've got double Warlock that we gotta take out, and then I think the last one is Kitsune. So. I'm not really worried about either of those. Double Warlock, obviously, if you take a hit from one, the first Warlock, you pretty much lose. Um, but yeah, King Pudding is going to be way worse than any of them. So it hit two of our maxes, neither of which are ascended, so that's good. Uh, one of our rank threes, so I could potentially rank out this rank three, these rank threes here. And uh, if it turns into a Harlequin, I could combine it out with that. A Mime, a combine it, or I don't have Mime in here. Uh, a Dryad, I could level some stuff up. Another, another uh, Demon Hunter would be fine. Let's see if it's hitting a max right there. I think we combine it out. What's the worst that can happen? We're at 46. We're not going to get down below 40, 40 ever. So I'm going to do this right here. And I'm going to do this. Oh, you bugger. All right. Oh, and then another one. Um, all right. Well, we've got, we've, st we're still at 60, 60 tiers for demon hunters. We, uh, we lost two rank threes right there. I would love for these Harlequins to turn into something. That would be great. We had a scrapper, but then we got a second scrapper. So we, all we could do is combine out. I feel like he should have some mana. I don't know if he's been spamming all that crazily, but but here we are. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I can't really do anything else. If this guy gets ranked down, I could Harlequin it away. If this guy gets ranked up, I could combine them out and see what happens. But again, I, I mean, once you're over 40 tiers, if you're, you know, over 50 tiers, you're really not worried about anything. It's just trying to make your board look better and better. And the more, obviously, the more Demon Hunters you have, the better. So that merge probably wasn't the best thing in the world. But if we, if it had worked out, if we had gotten a rank four dry and I ranked something else up, then we got a different Demon Hunter there and yada, yada, yada. I would have been saying, hey, that was a great play, you know? So it's kind of just luck of the draw on that one. That's why they call this game RNG, right? Come on, hit my hit one of my Harlequins. Oh, rank four right there. Okay, if it turns into a rank five, I'll combine out. Come on, baby. Let's combine out a couple of those swords and do something cool. Okay, this guy's a max and he just got to a 10 stack. Love that. Don't mind that at all. Warlock, if you come down, we've got one, two, three, four, five spots on our board that you're able to hit. So hit one of those and I'll be perfectly happy. Hit anything else, I'll be extremely upset. This guy's a max, it just got to a 10 stack. But it's also on a King Pudding, so that's not good. Uh, I don't know what that emote was for. Dude's been silent the entire game and then throws that emote out there. Kind of love that, honestly. Pretty funny. Uh, that guy got up to a, a, uh, a max right there. He's got some cauldrons he could combine out if he wanted. He's going to, but it's not really going to give us any opportunities to do anything else. Let's see what this Warlock does, fellas. <laughs> Double Warlock, Lucky Mallard Mug, Rub. Oh, we're taking it out quick. Oh, we won. I mean, that's that's a dub. That's an absolute dub. Second Warlock, out quick. I didn't realize Demon Hunter was still so good at taking everything out, fellas. And this board and this gameplay is by far not, like, the cleanest in the world, right? I've got some decent crit, but my Demon Hunter is level 9, man. It really isn't that exemplary. It's not that overpowered. And we're still taking things out super well. So I guess I'm, I should knock on wood, right? I don't want to jinx myself with saying that I think that's the game. But I thought Warlock... Warlock is typically much more difficult to deal with than the actual final boss. As long as you take out the final boss reasonably quick, you're not really worried about it because it's not going to spam other bosses. Here comes Lion. Do something good for me. Nah. 
Um, but wave 39 and 38, those can be a little bit hairy. So hopefully we'll be okay. We're still at 60 tiers here. Uh, so we're not at any danger whatsoever, except for against Warlock, uh, to going under 40 tiers. It would have to hit two of our max Demon Hunters, which just seems a little far-fetched. But imagine if these guys were also ascended. This guy's doing work. It's gotten one, two, three, four, five of my Demon Hunters to max stack from Sword. And we've only had the one here for most of the game. So imagine if we had three or five or did something else with these. I wish we had a little bit something else here to do. Ooh, the monsters got a little bit further on there. And we don't have Gadget. So they really are trying to throw... They're throwing the kitchen sink at us here for, for bosses, right? We don't have Gadget, which stinks. Our RNG down the stretch wasn't all that phenomenal where we got kind of stuck with some Harlequins and swords and stuff. But I still don't think it's going to matter. And remember, with this week, we've got that critical blessing. Uh, the booster is critical blessing for Demon Hunter for Magic Council. That's definitely helping us out here also. So if you guys have any trouble taking out waves, floors in co-op, Try out Demon Hunter this week because it seems to be really, really strong. Legitimate, right? It seems pretty strong right here. So two waves, one more wave, and then we just have to take out the boss. Here's a lion. Hit the Harlequin. Not a max. Don't hit the max. Why you keep chipping away at our max Demon Hunters, man? Everywhere I look, it's chipping away at max Demon Hunter. Don't hit another max. Ooh, yeah, hit that guy. There you go. Hit that sword. Get rid of that sword. That would be amazing. Let's get one more Shaman over here. One more Shaman. Hit something I can use. All right, I'll take a max. I mean, I'll take another max. And it's a and it's a 10 stack. I'll absolutely take that. But wave 39, this is the one that I said was going to be difficult. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. We've got 70,000 mana. And let's see how we do against Kitsune. I'll hit him with a good luck. Mmm, little slow. Little slow. It wanted to summon something. It did not. We still don't have Gadget, so it just makes me nervous because you never really know how it's going to go, but only a Monkey King. His board's going to get decimated, and we are going to be absolutely fine and took that out without a problem whatsoever. Hit him with a good game. Shout out to my man, Sim. Sims. Uh, really, really good work right there. Support deck. Only 1,900 crit, and we took that out. Absolutely no problem. We'll look at the damage. 2.4 billion damage right there we ended up making thirteen thousand gold and maybe i'll watch that ad to get us to about fourteen five but guys check it out if you guys have any issues with floors try out demon hunter this week i can't believe how well that worked i haven't played demon hunter in co-op in a very long time and level nine just crushed it guys that's gonna be the end of this youtube video if you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video